Hello, I'm Lorraine Moller of the Lydiard Foundation, and I'm here with Rod Dixon, the founder of the Kids Marathon. Rod and I go back a long time, don't we, Rod? Probably, mm. what, 40, 40, 40 years? 40 odd years. Probably, oh, more yes. than 40 years. Mm. I think I met you when I was a teenager and you were a superstar. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were at that time, you know, um, you and... Uh, John Walker and Dick Wax, and uh, we looked up to you guys. You were running all over the world and setting records and winning medals all over the mm -hmm. place. So, mm -hmm. you know, you were a real inspiration to me. And, and of course, we were just carrying on how we were inspired by the Peter Snells and the Murray Hilbergs and the Bill Baileys and the Arthur Lydiards. So it was just amazing, it's just yes. amazing energy. Yes, so Arthur Lydiard has been instrumental in both of our careers. Mm. And uh, the Lydiard Foundation is dedicated to promoting the methods of Arthur Lydiard, who was perhaps, I would say, the most influential coach yes. of the 20th century. And his methods, uh, well, he became known as the maker of champions and the father of jogging. jogging and so it's a methodology that most countries have adopted yes. uh, for their um, Olympic athletes in all sports because uh, it is a, a basis of developing the whole body right. and and you know the uh, basis for excellence has to be a good foundation yes and so we're looking at our kids today you're working with you, with your foundation and giving them a good foundation not just in terms of performance but in terms of their life yes and that's what i saw as being the the after all these years the synergy of that and i'm thinking we've got to we've got to now empower teachers and parents and volunteers to be better aware of how we need to bring these children through from kindergarten and begin their journey of activity and wellness. And it's got to be based on a sound, proven philosophy and principles of training. And that is why we are back working together to deliver this in a way that can be delivered to the world. Well, you know, we see appalling fitness statistics for kids these days yes you know this is the first generation that is uh has a life expectancy less than less that of their parents. their parents i mean that is just terrifying mm. Mm. and uh it wasn't like that when we were growing up no you know no. yeah um we were active, active right from the beginning and our school day would would we would have recess in the morning, we would have a full lunch hour, we would have recess afternoon, we would have beyond the bell activities until school closed finally at 4.30. So we were active, healthy kids all day long. Right, well the bell rang and you were dismissed and it was like, yay, <laughs> you know, and running out into the play games. Yes. And they were all running based. Mm. And then, of course, your parents didn't come and pick you up at school. They didn't pick me up at school. You ran home. Yeah, and uh, you know, we used to walk to school right through the winter in bare feet. Mm. And uh, you had to go fast, so you, your feet were... You didn't freeze on the frost. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and, and it was incredible. That journey that began in school took you on to four Olympic Games. And you on to four Olympic Games. And you a bronze medal. And you're a bronze medalist too. Uh, and a Boston Marathon. And you won New York City Marathon. And that's how it really centered us to a point now where we've come back and said, it is now time to pass the baton to the next generation. And I'm inspired more than ever now is that we have this, our working relationship to bring this, as I said before, to, to ev every child should have this opportunity to begin their journey in a healthy, active way. And it really starts at kindergarten. It goes through to, to middle and high school. It goes through to graduation and the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. And so we owe it to these kids to give them that 
opportunity yes. to... And, you know, it's not about building champions per se, mm. although that could happen. It, but yes. it's giving youngsters the physical development that is their birthright. Right. And, you know, we, we've sort of lost the plot in many ways because mm. we have um, classrooms and kids that are not moving. Mm. Well, and I deal with low, what we call inner city schools, mm -hmm. where when budgets are cut, three things get cut, music, art, and PE. And we're losing that creativity, that spontaneity, that honesty that those three things create in kids. And we've got to restore that and bring kids back to being kids. They, they just got to be kids to develop so that they, when they go on, they have that in their heart and it never leaves them. Yes, so at the Lydiard Foundation, what we've done is taken these teachings of Arthur Lydiard and distilled them into a form so that we can educate your mentors and coaches and teachers, um, anybody who's interested in knowing how the physical development of um, little ones right from kindergarten up to, well, even before kindergarten. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's just, it's starting younger and younger that these youngsters get the basis of aerobic development and their oxygenating structures from which they build the rest of their physical yes. development. Mm. You know, yeah. we've had such an um, emphasis now on academics mm. and we can blame the schools a lot with that but also many other influences that mm. have really deprived um, little ones of that opportunity to develop their physical systems. Exactly and and I, I see it all the time. I mean I, I know that 70% <clears throat> of five-year-olds can operate a device of some sort. They want to learn. So that is the time we start to teach them good activity, healthy eating, nutrition. We, <clears throat> if they, they want to learn. So we want to bring this program and bring it to that age so that it starts, it lays the foundation early. Mm -hmm. Because lear kids learn by doing. Yes. And that's, and the teachers, I, I, I come across a lot of very passionate, enthusiastic teachers who have a real investment of their heart and spirit into kids, and yet the system doesn't allow them to develop the kids how they instinctively know, because there's this curriculum, leave no kid left behind, math and science. I say math and science come later. Yes, yes. Well, you, you know, the, the body-mind connection is very well documented and we will go into this during the course mm. um, and you cannot separate them out. The mind and body and spirit must be developed as yeah. one synergy, synergistic whole. Yes. You can't take the bits and pieces out or there starts to develop flaws in the system. And as we know from training, you have to build from the ground up. Yes. It's absolutely essential. Our, we have one body. We're all given this amazing instrument. And it's not being used the right. way it should, right exactly. from the get-go. Mm. And what was it we missed from when they built the pyramids? They built it from the ground up. Yes. The pyramid. Yes. The foundation. An everlasting structure. Everlasting structure. Yes. So Rod, um, after all these years and a very long career, do you still run? I still run because I love it. It's, it's, as, as my mother would say, it's that itchy feeling around my heart I can't get at to scratch. Yes. And once it's in there, it's there for a lifetime. And that's what we owe it to the children of the future. Yes. So we uh, have a program that is there to instill a love of movement and we do it by making it fun. Yeah.